Today, we go paddleboarding in Alani's Lagoon, and then spend the afternoon at the Polynesian Cultural Center. We'll tell you what we thought of the Luau and their nighttime show. Join us! There's a beautiful calm beach at Alani. You can rent paddleboards and snorkel gear. Paddleboards are $45 per hour. They also offer free beach toys and boogie boards to use. Though with no waves in the lagoon, the boogie boards are just to float on and play with. We drove to the Polynesian Cultural Center. It's a little over an hour drive. It opens in the afternoon. There are several packages to choose from. We did the Luau package, which comes with reserved seats for the Ha Breath of Life show. They do sell out, so you want to reserve at least a couple weeks in advance. We're taking a guided tour right now. Ken's wearing the perfect shirt from the Polynesian Village Resort at the Polynesian Cultural Center. There are six island nations represented here. Hawaii, Antaroa, which is New Zealand, Fiji, Tahiti, Tonga, and Samoa and each village provides hands-on activities, demonstrations, and performances. We learn how to make fish from coconut tree leaves. Mm -hmm. All right, and you can we can go fishing with it. Ready? Whee! Wow! Fish it. But how do you fish it now? It doesn't want to fish. You go whee! That's cool. And each village will tell you about the culture and show you some different things you can do. Here they have fire making and fish making from the coconut tree. Aotearoa is also known as New Zealand. This is your mon your alarm clock in the morning. Um. I met you in a Tongan village and this is what women do in the village. Yeah? Go ahead. So you keep beating it till it uh, spreads out and becomes thinner. And so 
They showed us how the inner bark of a certain tree is softened and pounded into sheets of cloth and then bound together. Yeah, it takes about three months to make. Three months? Yes. This was a hut all made by hand, and inside we learned about the Tongan royal family. I was cooking up bread. Pretty good. Considering I don't like coconuts, it's pretty good. Hey. There's really a ton to do here because each village has its own show and multiple activities and we're just seeing a little bit on our tour. There's Hawaii, Antaroa, Fiji, Samoa, Tahiti, and Tonga. So quite a lot to do here. The ticket lasts for three days. You can come back three days and uh, can see how people would want to come back again because it's hard to do everything in one day. Salad bar, rice dishes, a puala is. It's like a sweet potato maybe. Some chicken and fish. Yeah, they have garlic crispy shrimp. It's a fresh fruits. Their pig station. All feathered standards. Hawaiian symbols of the royalty lead the procession. This pineapple creme brulee is delicious. It has some pineapple on the bottom. I thought the food at the luau was good. They had a good variety. I enjoyed it. Um, the show itself was kind of bland. It was it was nice. It just had some dancing and some songs. Um, no like fire effects or anything like that. The food at the luau was like okay, but the dessert was delicious. And um, they had yeah they had a ton of varieties. And the Lua just had like dancing and stuff, so it wasn't as good. Disney's Alani Luau is much better. The pina colada drinks and those pineapples were really good though. Oh, yes. Those were delicious. That was really nice. I thought the food was medium. We had kind of bad seat for the view of the Luau, so it wasn't as good because I couldn't really see everything. And there was like basically just dancing and then these stories, but it was like hard to follow like the storyline. So I thought the Luau itself was fine. The story, I don't even know really what the story was about. It was about a queen. Honoring of the queen basically. The food was like good, but I don't know. I'm never a huge fan of Luau food. It's just like so-so. Desserts, um, the sorbets were really yummy. Having passion fruit ice cream, I never really have that. Dragon fruit, not passion fruit ice cream, but that's very rare and yet very yummy. So the guided tour was fine. You don't necessarily need a guided tour. You can just go around yourself to the place you want to go to um, because since you're in a group, you kind of have to go with what the group wants. But we did some nice things. Our tour guide explained some some things, which was nice. But there were so many other activities that, that we could have done. It's hard to do everything. You really need a lot of time there to do everything. I probably, in the future, if I did it again, I would probably skip some of the shows and do more of the activities. Uh, I think the kids would enjoy that also. It's easier to watch the show first in order to understand like, the activities. Yeah. That's true, yeah. Now next, we're going to see the Ha Breath of Life show. They don't allow video recording in the show, so I'll tell you what I thought of the show afterwards. Alright, so we guys saw Ha! The Breath of Life. I thought it was a really good show. It showed all the six different islands and they spoke in their, their native languages. Uh, the downside of that was that you didn't understand everything that was happening. It was Some of it was a little more abstract, but because we had seen the different islands ahead of time, we knew some of the things that were happening, some of the details of what was, what was going on. So I agree that the show was really good. It was 
kind of gave you a good sense of all the different islands and like a highlight of what they it's unique at that island and then the fire show that they did was amazing they did things i never thought they would do like sit on fire um, for extended period of time throw the fire all those kind of eat the fire which we've seen multiple times but it was a lot of people throwing fire which was really amazing the show i don't know it was okay because basically all they were doing was like dancing and then talking in a language that we couldn't understand I thought it was really cool with all the fire, like, and there was so much more fire than I thought there would be. Overall, I thought the show was really good. It was a lot better than the luau. The luau was just kind of so-so. Uh, we could have skipped the luau, just like some gentle hula dancing and some storytelling. I enjoyed the dinner, but the, the luau was just okay. I would have skipped that next time. They had a lot of effects. They had, in addition to all the, the fire effects, they had a lot lighting effects and other theatrical things that were going on. So definitely um, wouldn't want to miss that. That's a great show to end the night on after you've seen all the islands. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can continue to join us on our adventures. If you want to see all of our videos from this trip, click the playlist on the left. Tomorrow, we explore the North Shore. We'll stop at a well-known fruit shack and then see if the famous Matsumoto shave ice is worth the wait. We'll end the day having dinner at Olelo Room. We'll see you then.